YouTube, this your boy down low back for another reply. But before then, let's talk about something that's going on in the music industry, man. So, T.I. came out in the interview talking about how it is a possibility that the T.I. and Jeezy album may actually come together. In which this has been rumored for years, man, but now seeing that T.I. is talking about it, it could fucking happen. And I would be there for that project, my dude. But anyway, on to today's reply. Today's reply is to that ludicrous feature Miguel, Good Lovin'. And you know, this song is aight. I mean, it's like some soulful relationship commercial type music. Not really what Ludacris does best, you dig? But you can obviously tell that this is a single for his album, which it may be coming out as well. First of all, Miguel doesn't come cheap. So, putting up that kind of money to get him on a track that's commercially friendly, that's friendly towards women, that's only for one damn reason, and that's to make money. In which I wouldn't be surprised to say video, I wouldn't be surprised if this got massive rotation on all radio formats because it fits all urban radio formats. Now my problem with it, one, it's not on the standard of quality in which I demand from Ludacris, Ludacris being one of the best out there today, and two, literally Ludacris said something that kind of a red flag, like it's not that big of a deal right now, but how he shouted out his own music in such man by saying hoes in different area codes and shit man, that's a red flag especially when you look at somebody like Eminem who no longer has song substance man, he merely just raps about things that he did in the fucking past. And I don't think Ludacris would go that avenue where he shouts himself out all the fucking time therefore taking away any kind of substance in his songs and such man, but that's still one thing to look out for. But anyway on to today's article from DownloadPads.com and today's article is about organizing your beats because this is very important for anybody man if you're not well organized you're going to end up losing hot beats that you really could have sold. See, producers make a lot of damn beats, man. And if your organizational habits ain't up to par, then you're going to lose track of some really good shit. What a lot of producers do, man, is they just straight up name their beats, man, and keep it moving. Thinking that that name is going to trigger something that, okay, this was a really good beat that I made. And that's not necessarily true. Like, after a couple weeks, man, those names, they lose relevancy to you. See, when I was doing my thing, production, Wise, man, I wouldn't name my beats, man. I would number my beats so they would remain in order. And then on top of it, the really good ones that I really fucked with, man, those are the ones that I would name. So therefore, just at first glance, I know which beats I really fuck with. And I'm not saying you have to do the same exact thing, man. I'm just saying get your organizational habits down, right? So that when someone does come looking to buy some shit, you know exactly where to fucking go. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.